you guys are not going to believe where I'm going right now. I'm going to Bonehead Performance to pick up the 250R parts. Yeah, baby. So the parts are finished. I got a call yesterday afternoon and I'm on my way right now to pick them up. I'm super excited to see what they look like. Uh, I got a couple things painted that I didn't initially think I was going to have painted. So I got a couple surprises for you. So I'm gonna throw this stuff in the truck and we'll get back to the house and I'll show you these parts. Man, this is exciting. This is the first time I've ever had anything powder coated. So this is huge. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm in the garage and I'm looking at the frame. Everybody just needs to calm down, okay? This is really exciting. All right, I'm gonna show you. Oh man, there it is. This turned out better than what I expected. The finish and the color match is perfect. I already laid the plastics on here and the seat cover and it matches so well. It's like a huge, it's exciting and relieving at the same time. Because well, for one, this was the first time I ever did powder coat anything. So this is the first powder coating experience I ever had. And it's just nerve wracking, you know what I mean? All the planning that's gone into this build and you know, if it came out weird or the color wasn't right, I'd just kind of have to eat it because having it redone again, that would be, <laughs> you know, a whole nother expense, but it came out awesome. Now all the other parts are in these boxes and I left them boxed up like this on purpose because I wanted to show you how the company sent these parts to me or how rather how I picked them up. So if you guys watched the video where we did box these things up and sent them out to powder coating, we sent them to Bonehead Performance and they did an excellent job. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you how Bonehead had these things boxed up. Um, now when I got there, these were all laid out on really nice shelves and everything and I wasn't really thinking, I should have asked if I could have done some filming in the store to actually show you the facilities because they had very clean facilities and everything was very nicely organized. They would have had this stuff pre-packaged for me but I kind of just showed up unannounced. The uh, parts happened to uh, just be getting finished. So I waited a couple minutes and they, they were really adamant on, on making these things bubble wrapped just to ensure that on my drive home nothing got scratched up which is really nice that they took that extra step. And uh, you guys can probably guess what these are. Oh man, the radiator scoops. These are gonna look freaking awesome. I don't even think, uh, I don't recall if I even told you guys that I was gonna be painting them these co this color. I think this is gonna offset that tan color really, really nice. It's kind of like a gloss dark gray and it really looks good. So now I did pick these parts up, uh, but these can be shipped as well. So. That's another reason I wanted to show you guys how well these are packed because they're going to pack up your stuff super nicely so that if they do have to ship them, you're not going to have to worry about anything getting damaged or scratched or your finishes being marred up. Dude, this is going to look so good. And you can see they're very familiar with ATVs and dirt bikes. You can see they masked off where the carrier goes, where your bushings go. And I noticed the threads don't have powder coat on them either. I'll show you on the frame as well. So we're not gonna really have to do, uh, we're not gonna have to trace any of the threads or anything like that. We're pretty much gonna be able to just start assembling, which is awesome. And I wanted to show you guys too, on these hubs, where the splines go, there's no powder coat. The surfaces, the mating surf surface where it meets up to the rim is all cleaned off or, or they masked it off, I'm not really sure. And of course, all these studs are bare. So that's a good amount of work. You know, I've painted plenty of hubs. That's uh, that's extra work masking all that stuff off. So Bonehead does the extra step and uh, makes it so that it's ready to be assembled as soon as you get it home. All right, let's crack open this second box. This kind of feels like Christmas. I have like, <laughs> I'm opening all this stuff coming out of boxes and whatnot. I'm like surrounded with all these toys. This is a super exciting day for me. Uh, we have more stuff in that gray finish. This is the front seat latch. Nothing really too exciting there. I'm going to save this for later. Here is our grab bar. I ended up just staying with the Graden Pro line um, that came on the quad. Dude, it looks perfect. It looks like a brand new grab bar now. If you guys remember, we kind of cleaned up the back where there were some skid marks from probably somebody wheeling out. 
You can't even tell now. This looks like a brand new grab bar. This is perfect. Ooh, now here is another exciting part that I've been dying to look at. I haven't even opened this stuff up, guys. These Nerf bars. <laughs> these are gonna look freaking awesome. And um, you can see these areas that they masked off. Oh, dude, the finish on these is literally... I, <laughs> I can't wait to start putting this together, dude. I might have to stay up all night and make this thing a roller like ASAP. All right, I'm gonna unbox all the rest of this stuff. Lay it out and I'll show you what we're working with. Oh yes, here are the parts. Got them all laying out for you guys. Check out the scoops and that trick radiator guard made by Shell Vest. I think that's gonna pop perfectly when this is all mounted up. Nerf bars are gonna look really trick. Those are those factory 43 Nerf bars. I wanted to note that portions like right here were masked off so we don't have to do any sanding or anything. I know like I said, I have never had anything powder coated before, but I know it's common that you do have to do some sanding uh, to get some pieces to fit because powder coating is a pretty thick finish. There's those rear hubs, grab bar. Here's the front hubs, same thing. You can see they prepped these really nicely. These actually look like, almost like the original Honda Gold. Almost looks like they're brand new. And then over here we have that LSR pin style seat latch, the front seat latch. This is our little a custom grill guard for our hood cover. Got our Kickstarter. Also wanted to point out that this is bare on the inside. I don't know if you guys can really see in there, but it's just like this. So that's gonna go together very nicely. Got our motor mounts. And here's the special stuff right here. This is what I had set aside. I didn't wanna show you guys just yet. We have our quick change clutch cover and our stator cover. Now these are the same color as this gray over here. However, this has a flat coating on top of it. So it's very similar. Same color, just flat. And of course, we're gonna have, th this is gonna be flat dark earth. So this is the prototype cover made by NPM. And uh, when it's flat dark earth, it's gonna look so freaking sick. The rest of the motor is that bare, uh, just vapor blasted color. And I think with the flat dark earth, that dark gray color, and the bare vapor blast thing, it's gonna look so good. All right, now just for a moment, I wanted to bring this outside and put it in the sunlight so you could get a little bit of a better appreciation for this thing. You can see these studs were masked off. Most of the threads look like they'll be fine. I'm not sure if they trace them or if they plug them. Um, I do know like down here where the swing arm is, you can see they plugged these off. So they most likely did that for all of these holes. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but there is not powder coat on these threads in here. And it's very consistent without the, or throughout the entire frame. But it sure seems like they took their time and did a really good job. You know, all of that stuff is small, minor things, but it would cost me time if I had to do it myself. So this looks like it came out really, really nice. And it does have a very small metal flake in there. It's like a gold metal flake. Very, very, very minor. And the finish is kind of like a matte. It's not quite gloss, but it's not quite flat. Whew, this is really cool, guys. Um, I think for a little bit there, I was kind of losing my excitement for Project 250R just because we were dealing with so many um, like, you know, the, the, the issues with waiting for things to happen. And it's just been such a trudge getting to where we are right now, where we're finally getting things together, which is, this is literally what I've been waiting for. This is what all of the hard work is for to see all this stuff coming together. And, um, it's almost a weird feeling. I have all of the parts here just laid out, not all of them, almost all of them just kind of laid out on the floor. And it's just thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And it's a situation I've never really been in before. Um, you know, the Banshee build was pretty awesome. But in comparison, this is so much more in depth. I've never had this many brand new parts. And, you know, I've never had, I've never had new suspension ever my entire life. And this suspension was actually, you know, valved for me and everything. This is all, I've never had whole shot tires uh, brand new. The ones on the Banshee are knockoffs. 
I've never had OMF brand new wheels and just like all these premium parts, roll design A arms. This is all, I mean, for me, this is just so, I, I can't even, I'm, I'm kind of like left speechless right now. <laughs> uh, but this is so exciting for me and uh, so gratifying all of the hard work that I've put into this. And um, I feel like it's finally starting to come together. It's just really uh, exciting. So <laughs> uh, hopefully I can share all of the excitement with you guys. Um, I, I don't even know how I feel right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to start getting this stuff together. I almost don't want to start getting it together because like the pieces as they sit, this is such a like landmark moment for me. I've always wanted to do a, a build that is this um, I, I, like top notch, I guess you would call it top tier. It's just, this is awesome. So this is really, really cool. Um, I, I'm just super excited to get this stuff together. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to stop rambling. I probably sound like a freaking babbling idiot right now. So I'm going to pull these plastics off. I just have them sitting on here, dude. I could not be happier with the way this turned out. Uh, a lot of people were saying like, dude, you should have painted the frame black or uh, green. I was thinking about green, but dude, this is the way I wanted it to turn out. It came out perfect, man. It matches, the frame matches the seat. Like identical, almost. And then the plastics are just like a shade different. But I think it matches really nicely. And then when we get the graphics on there, oh, dude, that's going to look awesome. AGMX is hooking up the graphics. Um, they should be done this week. So let me pull the plastics and the seat off. And let's start throwing this thing together, man. Now guys, really quick, before we start building this thing, I just want to mention if you guys are interested in having your parts professionally powder coated and you want to have an excellent finish, just like how mine came out, definitely check out Bonehead Performance. They're located in Feasterville, PA. Uh, they're right by me. It was really good for me because I wanted to choose a company that is local. Now, however, they do have a really good reputation and they, um, they're notorious for shipping parts out and having people ship them their parts to have them powder coated because they do such a great job. Uh, they've been around for a long time. I can remember like 10 years ago when I was a kid, and bonehead performance and it's a company that i always wanted to try out so finally i got the pleasure in doing so and i'm really happy with the way it turned out so definitely check them out online it's boneheadperformance.com uh, they have a really comprehensive web website with all of their color charts and everything and even on the screen the colors are pretty accurate that's how i chose my colors and they came out perfect all right guys now i actually ended up putting all of this stuff together i got so frustrated with filming and everything i just i dude i just didn't feel like filming anything so i got it all done here and i'm going to show you in the next video i'm just kidding guys I filmed the whole thing and it was way too much to pack into one video. So I decided to cut the video right here. This will be the powder coating video. You guys are gonna have to hop over where we do the assembly. I already have it. It's right here, man. I'm gonna show it to you for one second. <laughs> yeah, baby, it looks freaking sweet. So we're almost uh, at the point where we're gonna be putting on the tires and wheels. So uh, that is gonna be in the next video, getting it to where it is right now. So please remember to give me that thumbs up button if you're enjoying this content, that helps me out a lot. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, if you wanna see more videos like this one. And until the next one, guys, everybody keep uh, doing what you're doing, man. We're almost through this corona stuff. Everything's going great, man. Project 250R is back online. Everything's going to be awesome, man. Summertime, everything's opening up. It's going to be great, man. So peace out, and I will see you guys in the next video. You're not going to want to miss it.